My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 370. Spoilers. The chapter begins with a glimpse of Spinner's past, where the people of his town abused and bullied him, which caused him to isolate himself. At present, it appears that AFO has sent Spinner, accompanied by XPLA members and several civilians who follow him, to retrieve Coral Jiri. There are about 15,000 villains at the scene, a majority of them are mutants, facing only 200 heroes. Present Mix Loud Out Shout is blocked, and he is attacked by a shark mutant. Koda, who has become separated from Shoji, saves his teacher with the help of some bird. The police officers present at the scene are told by their chief that there is no reinforcement available, therefore the officers are authorized to use taser shields on mutants. Rocklock gets surrounded by angry mutants, who are sporting spinner flags and t-shirts. The villains then gang up on Koda, calling him a traitor, and asking him if he grew up in a metropolitan. One of the PLF generals gives a speech from a rooftop, which mostly dispelues court counseling and mentions to instances of mutant massacres, Incident 66, and the Great Purge of Yeda. Nothing has changed as the current system does not teach anyone to accept differences, and the heroes are of no help. The general concludes his speech by hailing Spinner as their savior. Spinner, however, seems to be unaware of his surroundings, thinking only of all for one and power. His next attack is blocked by Shoji, who is reminded of how he was persecuted in his hometown. The boy notes that, unlike the heroes who prioritized the safety of the patients in the previous war, this army of villains spared no concerns for them. Struggling through a flashback of his troubled past, Shoji warns the villains of the consequences of their actions. The last panel of chapter 370 reveals Shoji's face. And here's the spoilers ends.